Good morning, students. I'm Purnima, and I welcome you to my English class. Today, I'm going to tell you about a poem. Uh, this is a very motivational poem. On the the name of the poem is "On the Grass of an Ant Cricket," and it is written by a very famous poet, John Keats. John Keats, I think, this uh, this two lines has been. Become very famous. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. So the next two lines are written by John Keats only, and he is the person who has written the same poem about which I am going to teach you to teach you. That is on the grass of the ant cricket. So it is written by John Keats. Now, so I will be telling you. What uh, what is the background of this poem? First of all, and then I will be doing the explanation part. So, what is the background? This nature uh, this uh, nature poem draws attention to the uh, musical notes of birds and insects going on forever. Okay. So, this music is provided by the grasshopper on hot summer noon, and by the cricket in cold winter. This every season has its own kind of joy and music. Now, you know, the nature is having its own music, which we don't realize because we are too busy. But we must try to hear the music and notes by nature. Now, you know, if the wind blows and if the trees are moving to and fro, there is a music which we don't realize. If you can listen to the waves, the rising and falling of the waves, you can hear. A music from there also. Okay, the falling of the water frog is having its own beauty and music. So the writer is telling the uh, this nature poem draws attention to the musical notes of birds and insects going on forever. The music is provided by the grasshopper on hot summer noon. On hot summer noon, children, you must have heard that the grass uh, grasshoppers. Uh, And the way it children uh, it the noise from the it speaks okay so that music we are all aware of of and it it is uh, done continuously by the grasshopper okay so uh, this type of music we know but we should try to listen to this type of music also so thus every season has its own kind of joy and music. On a hot summer day, the birds seek shelter to the cool shade of trees. But it is time for merry making for the grasshopper. Okay, now children, when everybody is thinking for the future, all the animal, the grasshopper is simply it's enjoying its life. It's dancing, it's singing. Okay, it's simply enjoy its life. He flies from one place to another, singing all the time. So now he is running from one place to another, and every time he was seen singing. When he is weary of singing, he rests under some wild plant. So what does he do? He rests under some wild plant. The bird remains silent and hides in winter. Also on a frosty day, there is utter silence on all sides. Then suddenly the silence is broken by the song of cricket. The voice comes from a pile of stones. Thus the music of the earth is endless. To a person feeling sleepy, the cricket sound appears to be coming from distant grassy hill. So similar, this is the situation. Okay. Now, on the grasshopper and cricket, it is written by John Keats. Now I will be uh, telling you about the uh, about uh, first I will be reading the line and then I will be telling you about this uh, poetry. I will be doing the ex background of the poetry. Then I will be telling you about the explanation of the poetry. So, children, in this poem, John Keats wanted to see the music of the earth and the sound on earth never stop. It is never ceased. It is never stopped. Someone on the other, we keep on hearing some beautiful sounds from nature. So, this natural poem draws attention to the musical notes of birds and insects going on forever. That means, children, when everybody is silent during summer and winter time, 
still we hear the beautiful music from the birds from the insects okay so here two insects are described one is the grasshopper and the other as the cricket okay when everybody is silent two different seasons are described here summer season and winter season in winter nobody hears the voice but children indirectly he tells that we hear the voice of cricket in the evening so it uh, it is a poet who want to say that the poetry of art is never uh, he he is telling that never he never end the musical notes of birds and insects this musical note is spontaneously found in the art in all the season he wanted to say that music never stops on earth it keeps on going so this music is provided by the two different insects he has described one is the grasshopper and the other is cricket so the music is provided by the grasshopper on a hot summer evening and by the cricket in cold winter so this generally in cold winter during evening nobody hear the sounds every body is silent but here the poet poet is telling that in cold winter we he we keeps on hearing the sound of the cricket it is his he sings the music of joy now he further taught me that on a hot summer day the birds seek shelter in the cool shade of tree that the, the human being are inside their house in the when the summer is very hot and the bird also goes to seek shelter in the cool shade of tree but it is the time for merry making for the cross over he flies from one fence to another singing all the time when he is weary of singing he rests under some white plant so children the here a writer is telling that even when there is a hot summer afternoon when everybody takes shelter even the birds take shelter in the cool and the shade of the tree it is the grasshopper who keeps on singing he flies from one fence to another and he keeps on singing and singing and singing all the time and when he is a weary of singing weary means when he is tired of singing he rests under some wild plant he goes and he takes rest under some wild plant the bird remains silent and hide in winter all the birds they remain silent and hide in winter also on a frosty day there is utter silence on all sides then suddenly the silence is broken by the song of a cricket its voice comes from a pile of stones thus the music of the art is endless to a person feeling sleepy the cricket sound appears to be coming from distant grassy hill now children in the winter season the poet is telling when all the animals sleep they go to their house in a very uh, in the evening only in the evening silent is there all over the world then on a frosty day frosty means when the snow fall is there there is utter silence on all the side at least on all the side we can hear silence and um, then children then suddenly the silence is broken by the song of a cricket its voice comes from a pile of stone thus the music of the earth is endless to a person feeling sleepy the cricket sound appears to be coming from distant grassy hill okay now the poetry of art is never dead now i will be telling you about the poetry i will be doing the explanation of the poem the poetry of art is never dead when all the birds are filled with the hot sun and hide in cooling trees or a voice will run from hedge to hedge about the new born maids that is the cross hopper he takes the lead in summer luxury he has never done with his delights for when tired out with fun he rests as he is beneath some pleasant tree now the poetry is the music here the poetry is the music of art is not dead okay is never dead is uh, is lifeless 
and all the birds are faint, all the birds are fainted, feeling dull, all the birds are feeling dull with the hot sun and hide in cooling trees, they hide in the cooling trees, hide is out of sight, okay, and uh, voice will, voice is the musical sound of the grasshopper, here voice means the musical sound of the grasshopper, from hedge to edge about the new worn wheat. Hedge is a green fence. As hedge means green fence. New mon 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 is new mon means freshly cut weeds. And mead is lawn. New mon is freshly cut and mead means lawn. Down with finished. Delights, delights means happiness. At ease, at ease means relaxed. Beneath is under and wheat is wild plant. Okay, so children here the, he is telling uh, the poetry of earth is never dead. That means the poetry of earth is the never ending music of uh, the never ending musical notes of birds and insects. So he is telling that the never ending musical notes of birds and insects are always found on earth. It is never dead. It is never dead. That means it is always continuing. It is always heard in the earth. When the other people they sleep, the human being they go to take nap in the summer afternoon and in the winter evening. What happened? We all can hear the musical notes of birds and insects. That means the music on earth, the musical notes of birds and insects on earth never stop. It keeps on going and going. And all the birds are faint with the hot sun. Children, the weather is so hot, it is extremely hot, that if the birds come out from their nest, they will faint. So they never... They never comes out from their nest, and they uh, they never come out from their nest. And if they will come out from their nest, they will faint. Now, when all the birds are faint with the hot sun, you know, when the birds out from from their house, they are fainted. They are fainted due to hot sun, due to hot season. They are fainted. And hide in cooling trees, a voice, a voice will run. And children, they shake their shelter, okay? They take shelter in the cool shade of trees. They sit in the uh, uh, trees, upon the trees, so they can have, uh, they can feel coolness. Um, thus, they will not fail. That even the, I mean to say, that even the poet wanted to say, that the birds never goes out from their nest in the summer season and at that time a voice will run. Okay, let me uh, the earth they silence everywhere and what will happen a voice will run. From hedge to hedge about the new mon wheat. From hedge to hedge about the new mon wheat. Okay. From hedge to hedge, it's new mon, it's new mon meat. New mon is what is new mon? From hedge to hedge, from hedge to hedge, hedge is uh, green fence, green fence. So from one fence to another, the uh, uh, grass hopper it is. Jumping from one fence to other. Hedge is green fence. New mon. New mon is freshly cut. And mead is lawn. So he is telling that from one lawn to another lawn. Okay. From one lawn to another lawn. That grasshopper is uh, running. And new mon is a, a freshly uh, cut uh, Mon is there 
and where the grasshopper is telling the heat that means he is sitting there in the hot sun and it is singing and singing continuously the voice of the grasshopper the musical sound of the grasshopper is heard in the hot summer noon noon in a summer luxury he he has never done with his delights for when tired out with fun he is at ease beneath some pleasant weed so here writer is telling that when he is continuously singing but when he is tired what does he take he takes rest under some wild plant so he is jumping the grasshopper is jumping from one fence to another fence and what he is doing when he is feeling tired he is taking rest under some wild plant and sir uh, what is the meaning of something uh, which of the following words means the word is there the meaning of that for is something that is enjoyable is luxury so he is having a luxurious life that means he is enjoying and uh, enjoying his life and all the, the people they stay at home in the hot summer even the bird uh, they don't come out from their house so it is the uh, he is the one grasshopper is the one what he does what he does he keeps on singing he keeps on jumping from one hedge to another he keeps on singing in the freshly cut grass and um, he is um, he takes rest when he is very much tired he take he take rest where does he take rest he takes rest under the um, some white plant so children when um, the writer want to say that in the summer season also the music on earth keeps on uh, echoing the um, the sound of the grasshopper it keeps on singing that means the poetry on earth it never stops okay some on some other animals or some birds or some human being or some beautiful noise will be always coming in the form of a poetry from the nature from the nature man from the trees from the grass or from the human being or from the animals or from the insect so you can hear some beautiful noise every time it is coming from the earth the music on earth never ceases it never stops now the till in this one the second paragraph stanza i'm going to read it okay the poetry of earth is ceasing never the poetry of earth is ceasing never on a lone winter evening when the frost has wrought a silence from the still air shells the cricket songs in form in peace ever am seems to one in drowsiness half lost the grasshopper among some grassy hill so he is telling what does then uh, the very first line mean here the very first line mean here first of all i will be like to tell you the word meaning ceasing means ending you can write the word meaning the poetry of earth is ceasing never ceasing means at ending okay on a lone winter evening when the frost has wrought a silence wrought means brought so children here the poet is telling i will be explaining in two line two line first line the poetry of earth is never ending that means the poetry on earth is always continuing it never ends it never ends it always continue cease is ending the poetry of earth is ceasing never it is not ending on a lone winter evening when the frost has wrought a silence on a lone winter evening the winter is very loneliness we will find loneliness that means nobody is seen on earth during the winter time when there is a lot of cold okay lot of you will find no people and no animals or no insects come out from their house 
so it is described on a lone winter so winter is not this lonely as nobody can see outside from their abroad when the frost has drought is silence and chill and frost is a snowfall drought is brought due to snowfall due to snowfall everybody is inside the house um, there is a silence everywhere from the stone there sh So on the cross offer and the ticket, children, it is a uh, scene that the music never uh, is stopped from earth. Okay, it is always continued on earth in the form of animal, in the form of nature, the neat voice of the nature, the voice of the animal, the voice of the birds or the insects can always be uh, can always hear it. Okay, so now children, I will be telling you about the uh, second uh, stanza. The poetry of earth is ceasing never. The poetry of the earth never ends. Okay. Uh, the musical sound produced by one or the other insects goes on all the year round. That means every time, each time of the year, month, you will be hearing the sound of nature or the sound of the never ending musical notes of birds and insects. And the musical sound produced by one or the other insects goes on all the year around on earth. So, what does the very first line mean here? So, the very first line here means the poetry of earth is ceasing never on a lone winter evening when the frost has routed silence. So, children, the musical sound produced by one or the other insect goes on all the year around. Okay. Now, on a lone winter evening, when the frost has drought a silence, children, lone is when the winter evening is always lonely, there is always loneliness in winter evening because of the frost, because of the snowfall, when everything is covered with snow, trees, houses, roads, so nobody comes out in the winter evening. Silence can be heard everywhere and at that time only one sound we can hear and the sound is of that cricket. From the stone there shells the cricket song. Children under the stone the cricket hides under the stone and from that stone we can hear the sound of that uh, his loud voice of singing. Okay and from the uh, shrill is a loud voice making a loud noise so into the cricket shrills from the from there the cricket song in warmth increases ever and seems to burn in drowsiness half lost and children in drowsiness um, when the people are in drowsiness they are half lost in their sleep what do they hear they hear the song of the uh, cricket and it seems as if it is coming from very far away okay from it is coming from children very far away all right um, the cricket sound appears to be coming from a distance grassy hills and children the song in the evening the loud shrill the loud voice of the cricket it keeps on increasing every moment okay and one seems when one is in drowsiness when one is feeling sleepy so it, uh, we feel that the sound of the cricket song is increasing and one is when one is half slept asleep and one is in uh, drowsiness we can hear that uh, we feel that if the sound is coming from distance grassy hill so children you can see that uh, the musical sound produced by one or the other insect goes on all the year round and when there is a complete silence is spread everywhere when then only we can hear the sound of the cricket and the sound the loud, loud voice it keeps on increasing every time okay uh, our children his song expresses delight delightness his uh, song the song of the cricket express a uh, happiness now now children I will be discussing with the NCR textbook questions okay we will be discussing the question and answer so my first question is this discuss with your partner the following definition of a poem 
A poem is made of words arranged in a beautiful order. These words, when read aloud with feeling, have a music and meaning of their own. So, you know, already a beautiful line about poem is written here. So, what I feel this line is quite true. What are the line? A poem is made of words arranged in a beautiful order. The beautiful order, the poetic devices, the beautiful rhyming words are arranged in a manner that it looks very, uh, what to say, up to the mark. So this is very true. Poetry is different from prose because it's arranged best words in a musical order. However, a poem being short, musical and interesting is easy to learn by heart and to remember for a long period. Now, the second question is that the poetry of earth is not made of words, what it is made of as suggested in the poem. The poetry of earth is uh, made of, of the chirping of birds in trees and a grasshopper sound. They sing joyfully without a long break. That means we can always hear the sound made by nature. We can always hear that sound. And the poetry of earth is made of the chirping of birds, the singing of the insects like grasshopper and cricket. Um, they sing joyfully without the break even in the winter and summer season. In winter when nobody comes out from the house, we can hear the poetry of cricket. Similarly, in the summer, when nobody, when there's a lot of heat is there, nobody even peeps out from the house, we can hear the beautiful the song of the grasshopper. So these two are the animals, uh, sorry, insects, um, through which the poem or the poet wanted to say that the poetry on earth will never cease, it will never stop, it will be continued for forever. Then children, the third question is that find in the poem lines that matches the poem. The grass, now two lines are there and you have to match the line which is there in the poem. So my first line is, the grasshopper's happiness never comes to end, happiness never comes to an end. So children, which line matches from this line? The line which matches from this line is, he has never done with his delight. He has never done with his delights. So this is the line which is matching from this line, the grasshopper happiness never comes to end. Now our second line is that the cricket song has a form that never decreases. The cricket songs in form increasing ever. The cricket song in form increasing ever. So children, uh, this line is matching with the line, the cricket song has a form that never decreases. Which word in stranger to is opposite in meaning to the frost? That is warm. Now, question number five. The poetry of earth continues around the year through a cycle of two seasons. Mention each with its representative voice. The two major seasons in a year are summer and winter. Both are rich in music. In summer, the representative voice is that of the bird and the grasshopper. In winter, the representative voice is of the cricket, is the prime singer. Now, which insect is the music provided, provider in summer? So, it is the grasshopper which provides music in the summer when no bird, birds, not even, not to forget about human, when even not even a bird is seen outside, they can then comes and takes shelter in the cool shade of the tree. Then, children, it is the grasshopper which continues its music. Now, what do birds do in winter? Why? Birds remain silent and hide in the winter. It is because they don't feel comfortable in the cold weather. Which insects take silence of the winter up? There is silence all around in the winter. The, this silence is broken by cricket. They start singing for many men. So this is the sound of the cricket. Which is a big silence of the winter How There is a silence all around in the winter. The, the frost is everywhere. There is a snow on the leaf. No fall is there on the leaf houses and on the road. Okay. And um, this silence is broken by cricket. They start singing for merry making. So, um, children, what turn does the climate take? In winter, in winter, the climate is very cold. Nobody comes out from their house. The situation, that's because as there's a frost, um, the um, snowfall is there all over the houses on the uh, 
uh, leaves on the roads so it is very difficult for the people to bear the cold and they don't come back in their out of their houses what is the strange characteristic of the cricket children the strange characteristic of the cricket that it keeps on singing throughout the night how cold it is it never sees its singing okay and uh, his song expresses his delight which goes on increasing even the people who are feeling sleepy even they hear it his song and uh, they feel as if the song is coming from distance grassy hill that means he never stop the song of the cricket is not stop so with this i end my video thank you and have a nice day ahead